In this next video, we're going to be talking about another form element called radio buttons. Now, as we saw in the last one, we were able to create a number of text fields using our form tags. And inside those form tags, we can see that we had our input text field and the type was defined as text. Well, that was great. And just as a side note, do recognize that most browsers will have about 20 characters um, as their default in terms of the size of the form element. But we can define some of those a little bit later on with some other attributes or even working with CSS. So in this particular example, what I want to be talking about is working with things like radio buttons. Now what are radio buttons? Radio buttons are used when you want the user to select one of a limited number of choices. So in other words, it's not when you have a, a huge list of things that you want them to choose from. It's either either or, one or the other, or you know, one of three or one of five or whatever the case may be. So let's clean up a little bit of what's going on in here. You'll notice I'm just gonna ask you to take out the first and last name from the last exercise that you were working with. And this time we're still gonna keep in our type as you can see here. So we have our input, um, tag right here, an attribute called type, and in the first example we were using text attributes. But in this case what I want you to do is to create a radio. And at this point we can give it a name. So in this case maybe we're going to be asking whether or not someone is uh, our end audience member is either male or female. So we will ask them about their sex not how many times a week, but actually how many, um, or just uh, rather, if they're male or female. So in order to do this, as you can see, this would not really help us out. So we're going to add another attribute here. And this one is called value. And usually when you're using input um, tags as we are right now, the value usually defines something that's going to be written. You'll see this again a little bit later on when we're working with things like um, other types of checkboxes or even submit buttons and stuff like that. So the value here I will say male. It's one of our choices. And notice that there is a BR spacing right here. But I'll also come in there and just before we actually put in that BR tag, which I'll just drop off to the second line there, I'm actually going to write out the word male because we want them to know what the choice actually is. The value is not something that they're going to be seeing at this particular point in time. So now that we have those, uh, that first element in place, now I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. We're going to say radio and the name is going to be sex again, but this time we're also going to give in another value, which of course would be the logical alternative, female. And right after that we're going to write out the word female, because we want them to see that word when we actually do preview this in the browser. So at this point, let's take a look, and we'll save our file have a good look at what's going on over here. And if you remember from the last example, I had this opened up inside of Firefox. So since it's already open, all I really have to do is to reload this page. And let's take a look at what we see. You've got something in here that shows two boxes, uh, two buttons. And if you'll notice, when you select one or the other, the first one becomes deactivated, or the second one would be becoming deactivated as well. So it's either one or the other when you're working with radio buttons. There's not really much choice other than that. You can only have one option that can be chosen. So that's how you can create a very simple radio button for use inside of your work. And as you can see, the male and female is dictated over here. And then later on, once this information has been retrieved or uh, you know taken in after you've created a nice big form as we'll have towards the end of our lesson, uh, you can send off that information and that information would need to be sent using some third party um, scripting and we'll discuss a little bit more about that when we get into the actions, uh, the action attribute for the form tag itself. So that's a little bit about radio buttons.